summer of 2007, the loss of Arctic sea ice shattered all existing records. The ice cap shrank to an astounding 23% below its previous low. This runaway meltdown has stunned scientists whose climate models didn't foresee a loss of this magnitude for another 30 years. Scientists Julian Struva and Mark Serez watched in astonishment as the summer unfolded. And we've already broken all past records for having the least amount of sea ice. Oh, we started out at the same level as we saw in 2005, and then all of a sudden, right around the beginning of July, we took a huge dip. And what's happened so far this year has me a bit dumbstruck at this point. This is what they saw. The Arctic ice cap was disappearing. Mark and Julian are remote sensing scientists working at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado. We go to different sources, look at temperatures, look at wind patterns, atmospheric circulation, look at any observations that we have of ice thickness. Using orbiting NASA satellites, they monitored radiation emitted by the polar ice cap. They have sensors which can detect this microwave radiation, and if, and if we get that data feed, we process the data, and that's how we get our information on sea ice. That information was processed by a supercomputer at the Snow and Ice Data Center. Back in May, we were looking at the satellite data as they came in, and we knew that we were already in trouble as far as the sea ice cover was concerned. It looked that sea ice cover was much thinner than it usually was. The thin ice was an early warning sign. I thought, you know what, we might be in trouble this summer. We might lose a lot of ice this summer as the temperatures warm and the melt season begins. Anxious about what was happening in the far north, Julian would get up earlier than usual to monitor the data as it was uploaded. A lot of times I would look at it before I'd come into work. I can go online at home and I look real quick to see what it's doing. By midsummer, it was clear. The Arctic was in a runaway meltdown. I'd come into his office and I'd be like, Mark, have you seen what's happened today? Look how much ice we lost. We started to see record ice losses from day to day to day. Sometimes we'd be losing, you know, 20,000, maybe 50,000 square kilometers in a single day. So just rapid losses. It wasn't even clear where we were going to bottom out this year in terms of the sea ice minimum. To get a picture of what's happening in the Arctic, take a look at a map of the United States. The amount of ice we had in the Arctic was roughly equivalent to the size of the contiguous United States minus Arizona. That was in 1980. Now, fast forward to September of 2007, and half the U.S. is gone. So I think this does give you kind of an illustration of just the magnitude of real estate we're talking about in terms of the sea ice loss. The satellite data alone is not enough to explain the dramatic losses. At some point, you can't escape the value of hitting it with your own hammer. You've got to get up there and hit it with your own hammer through the field work. Julian and her team began a fact-finding mission in Barrow, Alaska. Local hunters worked as bodyguards for the scientists. We have them come out with us on the ice, and they stand guard with shotguns to protect us from the bears. Julian plotted a grid across the landscape with a device called a magnaprobe. I personally collected over 8,000 snow depth measurements. Her data will help other scientists determine the melting rate of the snow and the ice below it. What I do is I put on my iPod and I walk. The team also measured the reflectance or albedo of the snow. 